Welcome back to another episode of Simply Robotics, the podcast, a podcast exploring the animation industry one episode at a time. I'm your host, Monique, and you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Robotics, S-I-M-P-L-Y-R-O-B-O-T-I-X. And remember, when listening, use the hashtag Simply Robotics pod to join in the conversation. This also makes it easier for me to find any, you know, comments or anything like that post about the show, and then I can reshare it. Now, as you see... The show is titled Wolf Walkers, and I am going to be slightly reviewing and talking about this film that came out last year, as well as getting into some animation news, which I haven't done in forever. <laughs> so to get started, I would like to remind you all that I have links to the trailer and um, a couple things that I will be talking about today in the description. So don't worry. As always, I got you. Wikipedia says that Wolf Walkers is a 2020 animated fantasy adventure film directed by Tom Moore and Ross Stewart. The film is the third in the Irish folklore trilogy that Tom Moore had been creating. It follows his previous films, The Secret of Kells, which came out in 2009, and Song of the Sea, which came out in 2014. It's an international production, which was mainly um, made by Cartoon Saloon along with this French studio that I cannot pronounce their name. <laughs> so the film premiered in 2020 at Toronto's International Film Festival. This is one of the film festivals that I really, really, really want to go to. And with all the virtual event hip hopping and stuff that I was doing last year, I somehow completely dropped the ball and missed this one. So yeah, it was in that festival in September, then it was released theatrically in the UK in October, and then theatrically in the United States and Canada in November, in Ireland in, excuse me, December, and then mid-December it came on to Apple TV Plus, I think. Um, do you say the plus? Do you not say the plus? And um, since then, it has received a lot of universal acclaims from critics who have praised the animation, the emotional depth, and performance of the characters. So the plot, according to IMDb, says a young apprentice hunter and her father journey to Ireland to help wipe out the last wolf pack. But everything changes when she befriends a free-spirited girl from a mysterious tribe rumored to transform into wolves by night. So just getting into some of the characters, this is from wolfwalkers.fandom.com. There's Robin Goodfellow. She's the girl that doesn't really want to abide by societal norms. She wants to be a hunter like her dad. They say that she's a bright, adventurous young girl, and, you know, she wants to be like her dad and hunt all these types of creatures, such as dragons and selkies and selkies. You'll find out what they are if you watch um song of the sea i really really love that movie so i don't know it was it says in true robin thought she this is what she wanted which was be the hunter when she really decided freedom of living and she wanted to be true to herself which she could not do inside the city of kilkenny and under lord protector's rigid and stifling rules and laws so Bill Goodfellow is her dad. He's a hunter. You know, he moved them from England to Kilkenny, Ireland after the passing of their mother, which it's not really a spoiler because we don't even see the mom. It just, it gets told. So it's not, I don't think it's that big of a spoiler. Next we have Meb. Uh... I want to say it's pronounced Meb. Forgive me, correct me if I'm wrong, but Meb is very much a wild girl due to being a wolf walker and living in the forest with her mom and the wolf pack. She loves who she is, the life she lives, and is proud of being a wolf walker, walker while she looks upon humans, particularly the townies of Kilkenny. Meb is pretty cool. She has like bright orange hair. She's this wild, rambunctious little girl. Um, she definitely has like animal like behavior. <laughs> um, but she's, she's a nice burst and ball of energy. 
Um, next, we have Maul, which is Meb's mom, and she's the alpha of the wolf pack. And I thought it was kind of dope that she that the wolf pack leader is a female, is a woman. Then we have Lord Protector Oliver Cromwell, your typical standard bad guy. He reminds me a lot of Radcliffe from Pocahontas, like, and that kind of makes sense because I guess they're both from that side of the world or whatever. So there's that. 